What a beautiful stage. Hi, everyone. Uh, so I'm here today to present a brand new actor to you all. I think this has been a quite a special uh, feeling for me because through this, I got to reflect upon my own um, career in cinema so far as an outsider in the film industry. Because when I got my first film, Rabne Banadi Jodi, um, opposite Shah Rukh Khan to be produced by Yash Raj Films, directed by Aditya Chopra, I honestly didn't realize <laughs> what a big deal it was at the time. Um, frankly, I did not even know uh, who Aditya Chopra was or what it felt or what it would be or mean uh, to be his heroine. That's how clueless I was. Um, I chose acting purely on the basis of sheer instincts. I did not know anyone, not a soul, who uh, worked in movies or had any connection uh, to the film industry. So I did what any outsider does. I worked to get my first break. I auditioned. And in one such audition, I got Rabne Banadi Jodi. Thank you, God. Um, but you know what I feel? I feel that, honestly, because I didn't have any legacy to live up to, or any sense of familiarity with how cinema works and whatsoever, um, I feel like it, it, it gave me a kind of determination and confidence that has definitely helped me uh, to be here and has enabled my journey so far in the movies. Um, today I do a lot of films, I, I even produce some. Um, so, I'm very grateful. Um, but I feel that um, um, there are a lot of people that I've been very grateful to uh, and I'm very thankful for uh, who have helped me in my journey so far. Um, and Yashraj is paramount, Aditya Chopra, because he believed in me, he believed in my talent when I guess uh, nobody did. I come from outside, so, so you know, um, I, had no, I had no legacy or not, nobody, exp nobody knew anything of me. And he chose me purely on the basis of what he felt I possessed, which was the talent that I had. And I'm so grateful to him. And I think as a company, Yashraj has always done that, you know. It has always backed talent first, before legacies, before connections, before um, perceptions. And uh, uh, I know so now, with, with so many examples that we have seen of, of actors being launched by the production house, that, um, that here, if no matter who you are, where you come from, if you have what it takes to become an actor, YRF will back you. And because they believed in my talent, I'm here standing here today and very, very happy and proud to present to you all another very young, smart, talented actor who's also determined to make it on her own steam. So guys, without further ado, I would like to um, introduce the new YRF girl, Anya. Sing. Please cue the video. Come, please. Anya, please come and join us. I was just having a chat with Anya, and uh, she told me backstage that she's a little nervous. So be nice, otherwise I'm sitting here. <laughs> Beautiful uh, video. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you everybody for coming this evening. It means a lot to Adar and me. So I'm just gonna ask Anya, I'm just gonna ask you a few questions that I've been dying to know. I've just met her today backstage and we've had a little chat, but, but please tell me, how has the journey been so far? Because there's a life, right? There's one life before you sign your, fun, one, for your first film and then there's the other, like literally everything just changes. It starts to feel different. So what was it like? What was it like before you became an actor? And what was the first break like? And then what were the reactions? And I don't want to ask you anything specifically because I know that it's a thing, that it's a moment that you can't even say because there's so much that happens, so much that happened to me. So tell me, what was the first thing that you thought of and Adi told you, yes, you're going to be doing this movie? So I remember when um, 
Adi sir finally told me that I've got this movie. That was my first proper conversation with Adi sir. Before that, I'd seen him at the cafe, you know, passed a smile, said hello, but that's it, nothing beyond that. And uh, Shanu one day told me that, listen, I'm coming to office to meet you, and uh, I just want to chat with you. So I said, okay, cool, like I'll wait. And Shanu Sharma takes me to the lift and she says, we're going to the fourth floor. Now, only because of coffee with Karan, I know that the fourth floor means this is Aditya Chopra's place. So I was extremely nervous from the, going from the third floor to the fourth floor. I went and I sat, I had a glass of water because I was so nervous. And uh, Adi sir walks in, very coolly says, okay, so you've got the film and uh, I want you to work really hard. And so I heard that and I was like, I was, I was listening to what Adi was, so I was hearing what Adi sir was saying, but I wasn't actually listening to him because everything just went completely blank for me. And I couldn't believe it. Like I thought when I get the film, I'll like cry or like, you know, it'll be very dramatic. But I think I couldn't believe the fact that my dream had finally turned into reality because it was very hard for me. So uh, those five minutes, I just spent staring and not listening. And uh, I walked out, Shanu gave me a hug. And I went back home and I FaceTimed my entire family. And I think that's when it hit me that, you know, finally what I really wanted has come to me. And nobody in your family has ever done movies or been associated with cinema in any way, right? No. So no. what was that like? What was their reaction? to this, to hearing this? Were they prepared for it? Did you know, did they know you're going to be auditioning for this film? So my, pe my mother and um, of course my father, everybody knew I'd been auditioning because I'd been auditioning for about two and a half months before I got the film. And um, my mother kept telling me that Anya, don't get your hopes too high because you know, if you don't get it, you'll be very upset. So I think that's something I tried to do, but in my mind, I was like, if I don't get this, I'm going home, like that's the end of it. Like this is it for me and I have to get this. So um, I was very positive about um, the auditions. I think Shanu and Habib sir and Adi sir, everyone was very motivating. So it was quite, quite okay. But then you auditioned a lot, did you face, because that's a process, no? because um, you'll go to a lot of movie auditions and sometimes they tell you, huh, you've been shortlisted and you're like. So many <laughs> times, so many you're times. Like, it's down to two girls, yeah. it's you and another girl, and somehow yeah. it's the other girl who's yeah. getting it. <laughs> so that happened with me uh, a lot, in fact. I would always, they would call me and be like, you know, um, you've been shortlisted, and it's between you and one more girl. And I'd be like, okay, please God, give this to me, please, please. I'd call up my mom and be like, acha mama, you know, I've been shortlisted for this ad, uh, I think I'm gonna get it. And of course, I never got it, I, I never got it. So when this happened, I think, um, my mother and my entire family was actually really, really proud because they were very apprehensive. I'm the only child and I'm a girl. And since we're outsiders, uh, there's this perspective that this is a big, bad world. And you know, if you don't have somebody to support you, you're gonna get lost or nothing's gonna happen or you're gonna go down the wrong way. So um, my mother was very, very apprehensive. It took me a year to convince my mother and my family that uh, to please let me come to Bombay because um, it was my dream. And I kept telling my mother, if you don't let me go and if you don't let me do this, I will always blame you and I will always regret it for the rest of my life. Because I'd rather go, get rejected, but I know that I gave it a shot, yeah. you know? Rather than, Acha, I could have gone, but then mama didn't allow me to, do, to go, so yeah. I, I know what you're saying, because I felt that too. And uh, this whole thing of, this is a, a difficult place to be in, and it's very hard if you're from outside, and um, uh, you'll, you know, you'll go down the wrong road. That's a very common perception that people had. A lot of my family members also used to say that to my parents. But tell me something, because you are from, not from the industry, um, and you know this is the perception that is built up about it, how do you continue dreaming to be this, to, to, to become an actor? You know what I'm saying? There's a, there's a natural restraint that is somehow uh, is un, unsaid, but it's there, right? That it's difficult, it's, it's hard. But so how do you continue feeling motivated and focused to, to, to work towards this place? So when I came to Bombay, uh, my mother had made it very clear 
that I'm giving you one year, Anya. And if within that year you don't get something, you're coming right back and I'm sending you to pursue your masters. Because my mother was very keen that I studied. So when I came to Bombay, I had the pressure of not only a timeline, but also like, will I get anything? Then as time passed, you know, months went and I went for audition and auditions and I didn't get anything. There were a lot of times when I questioned myself and I was like, was this the right choice? I gave up everything and I came to Bombay not knowing anybody, not only from the industry, but even outside. I had like two friends in Bombay. So was this the right choice? But then since the first movie that I watched in my life, which was Dil To Pagal Hai on screen, it stuck on. So obviously there was something in me that kept pushing me and saying that, listen, your entire life you wanted to do this. Just give it a shot and just keep trying. Chalo, you have one year. That one year at least push yourself and go for every audition possible. You get something. So I think that, that, that is what really motivated me, the fact that this was my dream and I gave up everything for my dream. So I felt like I had to get it and I was here to get it. So, yeah. Thanks. And how is it working with Yashraj Films, relaunched by the banner? I mean, it's, it's, I can't believe this has happened with me. Um, it's very surreal. It's anyone's dream, I feel, to be launched by such a prestigious banner. And uh, Yashraj is now family, I feel, you know. I, I don't feel like I'm a new person because I feel like I have a whole family backing me. So if I, if I have a question, if, if, I'm, if I'm uncertain about something, I know that I, there are 30 people I can go up to and be like, listen, I, I'm really confused. Can you help me with this? Which, if I wasn't a part of this family, I think I would have been very um, nervous and lost. Yeah. yeah. Which is the best thing, right? Because while they give you that support and you, know, you can always um, go to them with any kind of, um, when you're feeling a little hesitant about something, but at the same time, you're you're also always made to be your own person. And they encourage that. They encourage you to be the person that you are and to not become like anybody. And when you come from outside the industry, you're anyways, there's no sense of kind of familiarity or any kind of baggage that I have to be a certain way or this is how an actor must be and should be. And I think that is encouraged here, which is what I, I think, I mean, I should share with you all also, which is what I think is most amazing about, about uh, Yashraj films, that you're always encouraged to become your own person. And whoever you are, you build up on that. Um, and yeah, and that's why it's, of course, with Yashraj being such a big banner, but that's another thing which I think is equally, equally important and um, helpful. No? Definitely. Definitely. I agree with you completely because uh, they do encourage you to be your own person and um, at the same time, they'll help you with whatever and they'll keep motivating you and pushing you. And I think they've given me a lot of confidence, which is something I was lacking because I'm so unfamiliar with this world. So I think that's something they really gave me, like this. It was them that said you can do this. So yeah. You look lovely. 